It's a sad day that we are here because we've come a long way as a country to address matters, extrajudicial killings, and especially from the region that we have come from. We've handled many cases like this before, and I'm saddened that these are things that have been existing, and rarely do we get the justice that we deserve. I'm proud that the community has come out. What matters is that we do not remain silent in the face of injustice. We stand with the family of Yusuf, and we stand with the families of every other Kenyan, including that body that was found, whom we don't know uh, who it belongs to. Because if we remain silent, then today it's Yusuf, tomorrow it could be us, especially as leaders. It's happening to fellow leaders like us. It's a concern, and we are not asking for any favor. The Constitution is not a storybook that was written to narrate to us. It was written there to protect the interest of both criminals and the righteous. So we are demanding for quick answers and we hope that we'll get to see the best feedback that every family is anticipating.